everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create outlines in Adobe Illustrator, how to set up your swatches and stuff. So we'll go to Adobe and we're going to select a new, we'll just do a simple letter here. So just to make sure, first thing is you want to make sure that your workspace is set up in printing and proofing. Not that you have to, but it definitely makes things a lot easier. So from here, uh, we need to create some swatches. If you haven't downloaded the Roland swatches, don't worry. You can create your own and you can use any color that you want. I do like to use the standard um, magenta and green. So we'll take a magenta color right here. I'm going to double click on it, bring up that window into the swatch options. And we're going to change this from process to spot color and we're going to call it cut contour. If I could just spell would be nice. And then we're going to click OK. Now that swatch is ready. You'll see that that swatch has changed. It's got a little outline around it. And we're going to go over to our CMYK green, double click on it. Once again, change it to a spot color. And we are going to call it perf co cut contour. And OK. So now you've got two swatches that are ready to go in the system for anything that you need to do. Let's just uh, do a little simple text here uh, that we can do some outlines along. So um, anyways, we'll just do Roland. So once again, this is text. So we'll just take that a little larger here. Let's maybe give it kind of a fun font here. We'll do a little like that. Now we need to turn this into outlines in order to really be able to work with it because right now it's just a font. So I'm going to go into type, I'm going to go into create outlines and that will change it into outlines. If we go down here to our swatch selection, you'll see right there I'm moving the black up to there, filling it in, making it an outline, whichever you want to do. From here, we're going to make some cut paths around it. So we want to combine everything into one. So I go down here to compound path and we're going to make it a compound path. Now you'll notice that the fill has gone away. We can go ahead and add that in again if we want. So now that's got a fill, but now we want to do a cut outline around it. So from here, object still selected. We're going to go down to path we're going to offset that path. You'll see it just got bigger around it. We can make it round. We can make it a mitered edge. That's where the points interconnect it. I'll do round and let's just say we do four points around it. Now let's go a little bit more. Eight points around it. So that's all set. We'll click OK. Now that we're selected on that outline, we're going to swap that and then we're going to change go back up to our swatches here and we're going to select that as cut contour and you'll see there that everything is pink so everywhere that's pink right there that's selected as a cut contour line that's going to cut now i don't necessarily want these to cut here in the middle so i'm just going to double click on them and delete them so we'll select them delete select and delete now, oops, missed one. One more right there. And delete. And we'll leave the D. No, we'll delete it. There we go. That way it's a solid sticker. Go back to our one level here. So now this is all good. Now we want to make a perf cut around it. We actually want to cut this out fully. So once again, I'm going to select that far outline. Go to Object, Path offset path we've offset it once again uh, just did another simple eight points around it and we're going to click OK as you see that one is also selected as cut contour if we 
mouse over right here you'll see that it's cut contour we want to select that one to perf cut contour so now that's going to perf cut via Roland it looks like we got one little extra piece right there so let's get rid of that guy and we are ready let's say we wanted to fill this guy in with another color or something um, or actually all the way out to the perf we could select a yellow Oops, back that up. Go to my fill here. Got to select that fill swatch. Let's say we yellow. So now it's going to have a yellow background. It's going to cut contour around the pink. And this way you got a little bit of bleed. That way if it doesn't perfectly line up, you don't have any white showing. So we've got a white background. we got black letters. Um, and then we've got our cut and that is as easy as it gets. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll be producing some more videos here shortly.